where I come from, and, and which is very much, but basketball was a way out, so I just took and ran with it, and, and a lot of motivation to push my brother and my mother and, and just my family, and I just wanted to keep improving my game. And Foul to the bucket, lays it up, and in. And get to a Division One school. After the injury, it was kind of demoralizing for Taylor because around this area, he was pretty much put on a pedestal because he was that good of a player. We have good athletes around here, but we get very few kids of that nature. So when he wasn't able to perform to that level, it frustrated him. Pushed him as hard as I've ever pushed an athlete. I've been doing this for 20 years and he responded to everything I did with him. You know, dealing with a broken ankle um, his junior year, and uh, you know, the recruiting process, and some schools backing off of him, and then coming back on. Uh, but Penn State was always there right along the way, and, and, and they were very loyal to him, and he, Taylor's a very loyal person. Well, I went to Albany uh, beginning of his junior year. Uh, he was still injured, as a matter of fact. He and had a chance to visit with his coach, who was also his guidance counselor, and. Uh, Later on, got to spend some time with him and his family. They were there for him all through his injury and, and thereafter, and uh, I think he really felt very comfortable that they were, they were very genuine in their recruiting efforts. It wasn't just they were looking for a great basketball player, but they were certainly interested in him as a person as well. He was a, one of the leaders of his family, his, his special unit at home with his mom and, and brothers and sisters. And so he's had a lot kind of put on his plate as a young kid growing up through high school. And I think that's helped him here become a, a leader. Uh, he, he is one of the leaders in the team. And uh, you know, he understands when we're having a tough day and, and how important it is to continue to fight through. Hey, grand grandfather, man, so y'all know. If you don't start making all those fouls, I'm gonna have to thump them. He did pretty good, he made over half. You know, he wants the best for every player, you know, as far academically and athletically, you know. Each and every day I come into practice, he asks me about maybe a test or exam I had the day before. So he does a great job, you know, just showing that he cares about more than just the basketball side of things. This is Sophia. Taylor made a big play and made a big free throws, and, uh, you know, it was a really special play. I'm girly grab for him. He wanted the ball, and he had the ball. They were going to make him the focal point of the program, take his game to, uh, to another level. It's a great story. I mean, you talk about a young man who uh, has overcome a lot of obstacles to be very successful, not just on the basketball court, but in the classroom. It's going to open so many doors for him when he graduates. You know, as an adult, I, I think that's probably um, the biggest thing. Try strip by battle and stolen. Battle down the floor. Just seen him grow into a man now. I mean, his body's changed. Everything we talked about. He'll let it fly. He's baked in him what you need to do to get to the next level and that type of stuff. And Penn State has done all that and more for him.